Manchester United are in second place in the Premier League. Don't talk to me about that performance. Talk to me about that result. Marcus Rashford coming up with the late winner. It was a deflection. It was messy. I don't give a shit. Neither do you. United are second in the Premier League. And that was a game where we were pulling teeth for 18... Well, more than 90 minutes, actually. For the entire, entire game. Wolves came to Old Trafford with one game plan. To shut... United down. It really isn't that hard to play against United if you want a draw. You sit back, you sit disciplined, you sit in shape, you try and hit on the counter, but as long as you, as long as you stay in shape defensively, you're going to be okay. And that's what happened against United for the first 90-odd minutes. United were pedestrian. United was slow. The tempo was bad. It was easy for Wolves to defend. They had 9-10 men behind the ball, but they did it very well. All credit to Wolves. But United came up with that chance at the end there. And it really was going to be a game of individual chances. Popper had a shot. Martial with a little run through towards the end there. I personally felt the whole way through that it seemed like United were the more likely team to get the win than Wolves. I felt Wolves came to shut United down rather than use their own strengths. Because Wolves are a very good team. Ruben Neves, Neto, obviously Jimenez is out of the team. But Traore was dangerous the whole game. It's not as if Wolves couldn't have have offered us more threat. I just don't think they really did. Wolves came to Old Trafford today with the intention of shutting United down and going away with a draw. They did that for 94 minutes. But then Marcus Rashford came up with the winner at the end after a game in which he was largely poor. And I think you can say that about the majority of the games where Rashford scored this season. I think a lot of games have uh, sort of passed him by, but he... He keeps coming up with the goals, man. And that goal there is so important for United. We're second, ladies and gentlemen. United are second. And it is the 29th of December. We're about to go into 2021 in second place in the Premier League. And it is the least we deserve after a run of form in which Chelsea are dropping points. Against Villa the other day. Spurs are dropping points. Even Liverpool and City are dropping points. Everybody's dropping points in the Premier League. This season's Premier League is for whoever wants to be the most consistent. Now, Liverpool are by far and away the best team in the league. Everybody knows that. But United have put themselves in a position where we're going to go to Anfield in a few weeks' time now. We're probably going to be within three points of Liverpool. And we've got the best away record in the Premier League. Although I think Liverpool have the best home record. So that fixture at Anfield, wow. That is going to be a hell of a fixture. But that game there today was a game I think you would probably more typically associate with Jose Mourinho. A game where it wasn't really about the perfor the performance, it was massively about the result. And that goal there from Rashford at the end changes the whole narrative of what that game could have meant to everybody. Because had that goal not gone in, it would have all been about Solskjaer not being expansive enough, not being creative enough, not being dangerous enough and pandering to Wolves. But instead, it's coming away from it and saying, look, it worked. And I'm not saying that everything within 90 minutes worked because it didn't. I think, you know, I think Van der Beek could have come on. I think Pogba playing as a, as a deeper line playmaker didn't really work in the last 20 minutes when he played more aggressively and he got towards the edge of the Wolves box. Pogba was 10 times better. Play him further up the pitch, man. Don't hold him back by playing him alongside Matic. I think pff, Tellez for the first 45, like, I understand why he got taken off. Uh, Tellez, I thought, was going to be the player that brought the overlaps, but Luke Shaw is definitely the left back that's playing the overlaps far better than Luke Short sorry far better than Alex Tellez is and Martial and Rashford and Greenwood and Cavani they all had their individual tiny moments but nobody was really linking up with the team and Bruno Fernandes even himself was quite muted for the majority of the game but ultimately that means absolutely fuck all United have just beaten Wolves 1-0 United are second place in the Premier League that's a clean sheet that's 3 points it's three points, and that is all that matters at this point. We've had the performances against Leeds. We had it against Everton. We had it in the first 20 against Leicester, even though we didn't really score. And this was a different sort of game. A game in which we didn't come out firing in the first 20 minutes. We didn't take it to Wolves, and Wolves were happy for us not to really take it to them. Happy to sit in shape. But at the same time, Wolves, I felt, offered really not much going forward. Traore was their main threat. Without Jimenez, they don't have that proper target man. Neto, as dangerous as he has been, 
Again, I don't think he threatened us too much. Eric Bai, good God, I hope he stays fit. Bai alongside Maguire is just a very, very different setup to Maguire alongside Lindelof. Two granny pedestrian centre backs by comparison. Bai, he has the athleticism and the physicality. And the, just the, the, out, the downright mad genius that he is as a centre-back. He, he covers the weaknesses that Maguire has in his game far better than Lindelof does. And I think as a partnership, they complement each other better. wan Basaka had a dog-awful game. Uh, he really needs to refine himself. I wouldn't be surprised if Twan Zebe or even Lindelof comes back in in the next game. He really was poor. Everything, Every decision he made was poor from his crosses to his passing. Just poor, poor, poor. He was definitely the worst player in that game. Man of the match, I'm probably saying Nemanja Matic for the overall 90 minutes of how it could have gone, but he really muted Wolves when they went forward. All credit to him. I think he did his job properly. De Gea, what are you doing going down when, when you ran into the back of Traore? A goalkeeper doesn't stay down at that point unless he's, I don't know, broken something. That was a bit weird. But none of it matters. Absolutely none of that matters. That's all superfluous information for the fact that United have just beaten Wolves 1-0 and United a second in the Premier League. And from where we were 12 months ago, going into the January transfer window and begging for Bruno Fernandes to be signed, right now we're second and three points behind Liverpool who are seemingly this godlike team by comparison. But they're only three points behind and only a win at Anfield away from us being levelled on points with them. Diallo's coming in in January. He's going to offer a new threat down the right wing. Hell, maybe we'd even sign somebody else in January. But that's probably wishful thinking. But that none of that matters. Tonight was all about the result. The re, it was a result game. After the positives, the real positives of, of, of Leeds and, and Everton. And uh, I'd say semi-positives. I think we all felt that the draw against Leicester was a fair result over the grand scheme of the 90 minutes. Today, I also felt... A result was probably a fair reflection of the overall performance from both teams. But we've gone and fucking nicked it at the end. 1-0. United three points. Second in the Premier League. Happy days. Marcus Rashford, MBE, and scoring the late winners for United out of Trafford. That's what I want to see. But what is your reaction to that game? Let me know in the comments below. Make sure, come on, ladies and gentlemen, make sure you subscribe to United People's TV. If you are new, bring on 2021. We're second, baby.